New York County Terrorism Police want a close look at every vehicle entering the city, with cameras and license plate readers at each bridge and tunnel crossing, what some see as an invasive electronic search. Unless you're stopping me for a specific reason, you shouldn't have no reason to run my license plate, period. When you're paying tolls, they take a picture of your license plate anyway. The plan is Operation Sentinel, a line of defense with some 3,000 cameras, license plate scanners, even sensors that can detect radiation around Manhattan, all designed to protect lower Manhattan and Ground Zero. We believe this is a war, a battle, that we're going to be in for many, many years to come. And again, we've been attacked here twice. The plan is years from completion, but lately more details have become public, renewing the emotional debate about the line between policing and privacy. Civil libertarians have filed suit, claiming the plan is cloaked in too much secrecy and charging it's wrong to have so many devices gathering so much information about innocent citizens. My late night trysts, my, my going to the movies, my going to the doctor. The government has no business knowing everything I'm doing and maintaining a permanent database of my movements. Police insist the system would purge innocent information every 30 days. The idea, to some extent, comes from London's so-called Ring of Steel, around the financial district since terror attacks in the 1990s. A camera network now so extensive, it's estimated each Londoner is pictured 300 times a day. We are identifying crimes and uh, criminals on a, on, a, on a level that we never would have done beforehand. But some here in New York disagree. Security is important, of course, but just saying that this is going to make us safer doesn't make it so. There's no guarantees. There's no guarantees in, uh, in our post-9-11 world. And that is the reason the NYPD wants to keep track of everyone possible. Ron Allen, NBC News, New York.